Nobody move. We're being followed. Are you sure, Peter? Positive. Followed by what? A fox? No, not a fox. The what? <gasps> What's following us? Peter! <laughs> A little sister who won't stay home. <laughs> I knew it was cut and tell all along. I just wanted to, um, practice my diving. <laughs> How did she creep up on us like that? She's super sneaky. Runs in the family. Peter, play peekaboo. Sorry, Cottontail. Can't play peekaboo right now. We're on an extra dangerous adventure. We are? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> We've completely run out of radishes. Hungry. You'd better run home, Cottontail, before anything dangerous comes our way. <gasps> um, something dangerous is already coming our way. Uh, uh... Quick, hide! <laughs> Mr. McGregor. Uh, Mr. McGregor is going. Who cares where he's going? The important thing is he's gone, and that means... Of course! Of course what? No, no one, one is guarding his garden! garden. For the grand finale! <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> I don't understand! We've tried everything! I'm afraid Cottontail is just frightened of the dark. There's nothing to be done until she grows out of it. Poor thing. How is she ever going to sleep? I really wish I could help her. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself, Peter. Getting babies to sleep isn't really a big brothery thing. It's more of a big sistery thing. Just stick to raiding vegetable patches. We'll take care of our little sister. Isn't that right, little Cottony Woodney? <laughs> There must be something we can do. A nightlight is a big help when you're afraid of the dark. Uh, at least that's what I've heard. Have you ever seen a glowworm? They light up at night, don't they, Florence? A jar full of glowworms would make a perfect nightlight. Lily, you're a genius. <laughs> Let's go and catch some glowworms. What? Now? I, I didn't mean... Come on. But... Sleep, little baby, close your eyes. Your sister will sing you a lullaby. I'll teach them to eat my dandelions. Something. Yeah, my tummy. It's hungry. You'll spoil your appetite. Although, I suppose just one couldn't hurt. Ha hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
boy, they're in trouble now. I can't wait to see their faces. I want my dandelions back and I want them now. You've taken too many. I only have exactly 1,073 dandelions left and another thing. Uh, uh, oh. Is Peter Rabbit home? Oh. Well, what are you looking at? Pretty sure. Oh, oh hey, hey, get off! What are you doing? Hey, they can keep the dandelions and let me go! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh! Ah! Uh, I'm sure I heard something. <laughs> uh, everything all right? Yes, thank you. OK, well, call if you need anything. OK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it, little rabbit. Thumbs over. Ah! I'm not your dolly. Dolly! Help! Definitely didn't imagine that. <laughs> so I'm guessing you want me to stay in here. <laughs> What's he doing here? Shoo, my daddy. Get me out of here! Yeah, get him out of here! Cottontail, I'm sorry, but you can't keep him. You can keep the dandelions, I don't care. <laughs> That's lucky. Oh, excuse me, because we ate them already. And just keep that crazy bunny away from me. Bye, bye, Shrew. Look at that. Four of the tastiest radishes I've ever seen. Oh, yummy. Radish. <gasps> Cottontail, you don't just gobble down a hole like this. First, you trim the leaves. Then you <laughs> sniff. <laughs> and then you... Pizza. Quick, hide them under the cushions. If Mum sees them, she'll know we were in Miss McGregor's garden. Hmm. Now, my dears, having a nice morning, are we? Uh, uh, yes, Bob. Yes, Auntie. Lovely weather. Yes. Uh, yes. Been getting up to mischief in Mr. McGregor's garden? Yeah, uh, no. I hope not. You know how dangerous that place can be. Radishes. Oh. <laughs> Cottontail. <laughs> Don't worry, Mum. We'd much rather be somewhere nice and safe. <laughs> Safe enough to eat our radishes, that is. Let's hop to it. Perfect. <laughs> Much better than one of Peter's snow rabbits. Did I hear someone call my name? Peter! <laughs> Ta-da! What? It's just a load of snow. Ah, that's what you think. It's a stash of the most juicy, delicious, amazing... Kitty cat! Wow! Into the burrow, quick! Ah! Oh. Nice kitty! <laughs> no, Cottontail! Uh, Kitty's not nice. Kitty's angry. <laughs> we'll never get those sprouts now! N never mind the sprouts. What are we going to do about the cats? <gasps> what? I was going to give it back. I promise. Benjamin, that toy belongs to Mr. McGregor's cat. Peter, what's this about a cat in the burrow? Cat? There's no cat in the burrow. <gasps> Just a cat a toy. Huh. Toy. We uh, found it and uh, brought it home by accident. The toy, uh, not not the cat. Definitely not the cat. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> what a beautiful 
morning. <laughs> well, you know what to do with things that don't belong to you, don't you? Uh, yes, Mum. We'll take this toy right back where we found it. But, Mother, we, we saw, saw a cat. cat just outside. Mum! Peter, we have to get the cat back to Mr McGregor's garden too. No way are we going out there. That cat is dangerous. Hmm, Peter. There's one thing the cat wants more than us. While we keep the cat busy chasing this, we'll run into the garden and get the sprouts. Easy. Oh, uh -huh, no. No way. Come on, Benjamin. A good rabbit never gives up. We can do this. We can. Oh, uh, of course we can. 